Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 13th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had those bulls running again to the upside, continuing to stretch this rally in the diamonds, but some of the other indexes eh, struggled just a little bit, except for the tech sector continuing to move higher. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, looking at the market, we are certainly very, very bullish, and there's tremendous anticipation about the CPI number today. Boy, you cannot throw um, you can't throw a dart at any of the news agencies out there and don't see some kind of a prediction that the Fed is going to pause. And everyone is looking for the CPI number to help support that and keep the Fed in check going into Wednesday. Today is the beginning of the FOMC meeting. Tomorrow afternoon, we anticipate their decision on um, uh, interest rates. And the market is heavily anticipating that uh, the CPI number will come in weak and support the Fed in not raising rates. Now that certainly could be the case, but then make sure you understand that how, how much the market could move to the downside if that number would happen to disappoint. So looking at the charts here this morning, if we uh, take a peek here at the diamonds, you can see we rallied up here nicely yesterday, stretching up here, testing that resistance level in the chart. And this morning, we're trying to make a move to pop through there, just ever so slightly trying to move up here this morning on the diamonds as we wait on that CPI number. So if the bulls continue to find inspiration in this chart, then I'm gonna suspect that we're gonna move up into here, challenge this level, and possibly even break that level if that CPI number supports that narrative that the Fed may pause on rate hikes. Now let's keep in mind that even if we have a good CPI number, that doesn't make that doesn't make a hundred percent assurance that the Fed is going to uh, pause rate increases. Remember, the core PCI number was higher than expected. We went up in inflation on the core PCI, and that is actually the Fed's favorite number. So there is no guarantee here. But I think we've we've uh, seen Jerome Powell and everyone softening up in the uh, Federal Reserve Com Committee. So I do think the odds of a pause are relatively high. Um, who knows how much market reaction there will be in here. And it does make me wonder after the CPI, if maybe this was a buy the rumor, sell the news kind of event, because we still have the issues out here in our slowing economy uh, to deal with. So watch carefully um, in case we get some kind of clue of a pullback. Make sure you've got um, stop losses set. Make sure um, you understand the risk going into um, these data points uh, this week. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, well, I want you to notice here, we've stretched up pretty hard about the only place we have a price support in the current price action would be right back down here, which would be a substantial pullback in the diamonds. And if that were to break, well, then it gets really painful with that next level of price support down here. Now, there's nothing technically that suggests that that's going to occur. We're very, very bullish here in the charts, but we also have to keep in mind that um, a lot of our economic numbers have been tremendously weak and not supporting the Fed 
when it comes to um, the jobs market out there. So watch carefully. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY also continuing to extend. We just stretch and stretch and stretch here in this move. S&P 500 breaking through this resistance. Now I'm going to turn this resistance uh, to a green as soon as we get some kind of confirmation that we're going to hold this as a higher low and then that will become a green level remember it doesn't do much good um, if we pop through a level like that and then reverse so wait and see here if that's going to hold if we look for the bulls if the bulls can continue to push to the upside remember there's all not an awful lot of talk that we're going to move up here around 4400 in the market i mean tremendous talk that we can move up here to 4,400 in the market. So that puts us somewhere right around in here um, to, to make that 4,400 level in the chart. So if the bulls can continue to push and we can get lots of inspiration on that CPI, then look for the um, SPY to potentially stretch. If we happen to disappoint, then I'm going to suggest that we're going to come back and at minimum retest this area of support. If that number really disappoints and the bears engage, then down here would kind of be our next support area in the chart, which would be maybe just a little bit on the painful side. Now, of course, we could we could use the top side of that area as well. So watch those carefully. If we look at our QQQ, also continuing to, to extend, our NASDAQ is the most overextended and it's being led by big techs that continue to just have PE ratios that are really, really extended here. But the bulls don't seem to care. They just continue to push to the upside. So let's watch these resistance levels up in here. This morning, uh, NASDAQ is showing us our biggest potential gap up here in the morning and you can see uh, next levels are going to be right up in here to see whether or not we can push on through in the QQQ. If the bears find that inspiration then look for that pullback and that pullback could come back down into this area first and then on down into here if that were to fail. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM has a beautiful little bullish setup here in the chart, albeit a bit steep. There's our current trend in the IWM. Now, certainly economic data can continue to support that trend, but let's keep in mind it is a little bit on the steep side in that rally. Now, if now, of course, IWM is catching up to the other indexes here they have lagged way behind. If we take a look here, if the bulls continue to find inspiration, look for a test of this resistance up in here. And if that were to break, you can see there are some additional resistance areas that are not quite quite as strong in the chart but we would look maybe right up in this area for that next level of price resistance in the chart if the bears find inspiration look for a retest of this little support area here in in the chart and if that were to fail then maybe we lose some of that big pop that we had on last friday and uh, pull us right back down here into some of that um, resistance area um, so watch or support area in the chart so watch carefully for those potentials let's take a look at our VIX now this was really interesting yesterday that as the market was rallying so was the VIX the VIX was showing a little bit of fear um, heading into these numbers and rallied up pretty sharply um, probably one of the well the biggest change in the VIX uh, to the upside in two weeks. So interesting that that was occurring. And back above that 15 handle, relieving some of that complacency per perhaps here in the market. If those bulls continue uh, to push to the upside, we might see that pulling back to retest this low in here. And if those bears continue to show that uncertainty, well, look for that VIX to maybe extend up here and test that resistance in the chart. Let's take a look at our T2122. <clears throat> our T2122 rallying back up into the um, bearish resistance zone or re bearish reversal zone. 
So pushing back up in here, if we get a good CPI number, remember T2122, it's impossible for T2122 to be over 100. So if the bulls can continue to push, let's look and we could get a big price move, but T2122 cannot break above 100. If <clears throat> that um, does push up, just notice we don't have very far to go in our T2122. If the bears find inspiration today, then we certainly have a big downside opportunity. And that's one of the reasons why I uh, suggested earlier on in the video, make sure your stop losses are set. Make sure you're taking some profits. Watch carefully for that potential reversal, because if it does occur, it could be substantial. Protect that capital. Don't just let greed uh, completely run your trading. So be prepared. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now T2108 had a nice improvement yesterday, pushing back up just ever so slightly and ended up the day relatively flat. But you can see holding in here pretty nice. Um, we This is a big sharp rally, it's about 60% of the stocks holding above their 200 day or 50 day, excuse me, 40 day moving average and you can see we're running into some resistance levels here in the chart the cpi number could certainly push us on through but as i mentioned yesterday once once we get up in this area and we start pushing up past that 60 percent anywhere into this 70 percent area of the market um, above the 40 day moving average we start reaching a very frothy condition in um, in the indexes where we have just kind of everyone that's going to get in is in and then there's not much room for us to go to the upside from there on and then we potentially get that selling pullback so watch carefully for that as we continue to press into this upside move and then if we take a look at our t2107 t2107 little tiny rally yesterday pushing back up, holding this support. That is a good sign for those, particularly those small cap areas holding in here. Um, um, just short of 50% 50, 50 of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. And once again, um, because the, the small caps tend to have a lot of really tiny, very small, uh, momentum type plays very small volume type stocks it really is a relatively rare thing to see uh t2101 really stretch hard into this above 70 area you can see in the past here 60s has been a pretty high area in the chart but if we press up in past those areas, we're starting to reach that frothy area here in the market as well on T2107. So keep an eye on that. If we take a look at our T2101 momentum, really big shift here in momentum. And so far this downtrend break here, we're holding it as support. And so you gotta give that to the bulls and we look for uh, potentially that stretching a little bit higher if that CPI number favors a rate um, pause. If if it's the other direction, um, look for a big potential shift because there's so much anticipation. And honestly, an awful lot of um, speculation going on that um, it's it's all up from here and maybe that's the case but if something disappoints just watch for that potential reversal if we take a look at our um, economic calendar for today our economic calendar well we've got a few things to be paying attention here today um, notably that cpi number here coming out at 8 30 this morning we do have the fomc meeting beginning we've got an nfib small business optimism report i don't think that that's going to have any impact on the market today 
at all. Uh, bond auctions, we've got a 52 week and we've got a 30 year bond auction to be paying attention to. And if you've been watching those, our bond yields continue to hold pretty steady, um, showing that massive inversion here in the market. However, they did ease ever so slightly yesterday. So watch that close. If we take a look into um, Wednesday, then of course we have PPI, obviously a market mover petroleum status and then the FOMC and the press conference after that. So just be prepared as soon as we get past our reaction to the CPI today, everyone's gonna be thinking about what comes next, that next shoe to fall. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. And unfortunately guys, this is a, it's been a long time since I've seen this happen. Um, there's not a single notable earnings report here for this morning. Everything that's out there is very, very small cap, very, very low volume stocks. So really nothing on the earnings calendar today to provide much inspiration at all. Everyone's going to be focusing. And, and as a matter of fact, I would say the world is focusing on um, the U.S. The CPI number this morning. So watch for a pretty emotional reaction to the market, either up or down, as that number comes out. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today however and so before we do that guys if you could do me that really quick favor if this is the first time you see these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up every time you see um, every time i post a video so that you know that they're coming out <clears throat> and if you find those videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. Now remember, the stocks I'm going to bring up here are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence on your trading. Make sure you're following your trading rules and your risk tolerances. You should never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. First off, let's take a look at um, uh, PLTR. PLTR has been just moving in this massive upside move. I would say it's pretty parabolic at this point and probably needs a rest or pullback. But that being said, the market doesn't seem to care about that anymore, um, or at least at the moment. It's all about just hurry up and buy something. And you can see in this move, we have this nice little consolidating area here, a little bit on the volatile side, but we're, we're breaking on higher here in PLTR. So keep an eye on that. Might be of interest to some of you out there. Let's take a look at Coke. Now, Coke, pretty darn ugly chart breaking down here in this move. Um, it's interesting that it's made this little pennant type pattern right in here, which gives us about a 50-50 shot that this could move up or down. Now, right now, because we're in a downside move, although we're near this support level, I've got to kind of give this to the bears. You might want to watch this for that potential short to the downside. Um, typically, we're going to see some of these consumer defensive stocks falter um, as long as we continue to pile in to big tech and chase um, S&P 500 stocks and QQQ higher, um, we kind of tend to ignore these consumer defensive stocks. So watch, watch that carefully. You might want to be taking a look at um, snow. Snow. Pulling back here, pretty volatile pullback in that move. This was just, well, a volatile move all the way around. Um, big strong move up, volatile pullback, holding support. I would look for that next opportunity that that could kind of start pushing higher here. Take a look at Valero. I mentioned Valero Energy yesterday to folks in, in right way options. It was popping up, trying to push through to the upside. I think we still should keep an eye on this. And this is, this is gonna be critical. If we start to see our energy prices moving back up because of cuts, in those production levels, that's going to have negative effects on our inflation rate. So watch that carefully here. If that pops out, refining, picking back up, 
that could be an interesting upside trade. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our US dollar. I spent quite a bit of time yesterday talking about the US dollar and saying if we start to see some weakening here, we might see those commodity prices begin to move higher and that would support that idea in energy and oil. So watch that carefully as this pulls back in here. If we continue to see a weakening in that chart, then we'll likely to see commodity prices start moving back higher. And if we see um, the dollar weakening, we could also see an increase in um, um, our 20 year treasuries here. So watch that carefully. And I think if a buy gets started here on the 20 year treasuries, it could move very quickly. Notice we've got this downtrend still serving as resistance. We've got all of this price resistance above here, but we got that little hint of a lower high and what a reversal yesterday here on TLT. So watch for that opportunity. If that dollar weakens, this might just pop out of that little downtrend worth keeping an eye on. And then also take a look at gold. Gold had a nice little reversal yesterday. It was pushing down as that dollar showed strength and then that dollar started to weaken here just a little bit. And there we get that little pop and you can see gold trying to move just a little bit higher. I think if we break out of this downtrend and hold up into here, then we could see gold continuing to move on higher if that dollar weakens. And that's the that's going to be the key, I think, if the dollar weakens. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at um, plug. Plug power made a big move yesterday to the upside surging. And you'll look right here. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout, breaking from um, above that 50 day moving average and holding it as support. You'll notice that all of our shorter term moving averages in here are starting to cross up through the 50 day moving average, providing support in under that 50 day. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this after such a big move yesterday, but maybe a little resting pullback in here um, to hold onto this trend. And I would be looking for plug and then maybe that upside move up here toward that 200 day moving average. This is one of those patterns that I'd love to trade over and over and over that works out pretty darn well. So keep an eye on plug power. Let's take a look at the natural gas. Now natural gas has just been so beat down, so beat down, so beat down. And it is starting to show that little tiny bit of a hint of a rally here again. Now keep in mind, we've got a moving average squeeze here that's a bearish moving average squeeze uh, in that. But once again, if we see that dollar weakening, I would look for natural gas to gain some strength here in that chart. So keep a close eye on it. How about um, old Lulu here? Lulu, pretty disappointing failure here at price resistance on the chart. Fell back hard, rallying back up toward that 50. This actually could set up as a potential short to the downside if we were to get a failure along that 50 day moving average. However, if it can push back through that downtrend break and hold, then we may have another shot at breaking out here on Lulu. Watch that close. Could go either direction in, um, in that chart. So with that guys, I'm gonna call this an end. I'm running out of time here today. I want to thank you all so much for being here today. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys, um, you'll, you'll never know how much it means to me that this many people uh, follow the channel and follow along with um, videos that provide no hype and no prediction to the market. We just look at those charts and we try to determine which way the market will go. And I just want to say thank you so much. I do truly appreciate it. You know, this has been an important thing for me for many, many years. I have been a full-time trader for 27 years now, something like that. And this is something that's been very, very important for me. And I'm glad that other folks find this useful. So thank you so much for all your kind support, all your kind words uh, and comments on the video. I do truly appreciate it. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I want to wish you all kinds of um, success for today. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best.